How does a love creator who can do no wrong become completely irrelevant in just a matter of days? Dylan Clark or Get Flanked was one of the first people to start creating content on Siege, and his channel grew exponentially because of that. He was one of the original creators to start creating on Siege and really led the way for other content creators to let them know that, hey, this game is worth creating on. What is up guys, I'm Get Flanked, and on the screen right now is a graph that breaks down the amount of players per rank in Rainbow Six Siege. Dylan created his channel on January 20th, 2015, and even has a video as old as the Siege beta. What is up guys, this is Get Flanked, and today I'm going to give you my review of the Rainbow Six Siege beta. His videos started picking up more traction for his tips and tricks from a just regular guy, you know, he seemed relatable. And that's pretty ironic for what he's about to do, but he seemed like a relatable, cool guy that just just liked to play video games and, you know, had that unk vibe, you know, like he's like that cool uncle that plays games and helps you play and helps you get better at, at a game. He didn't seem toxic at all. He seemed relatable and he grew pretty significantly fast. On his channel, he started picking up traction and grew his YouTube to over 400,000 subscribers. Not many people can say they hit even close to that number, me included. If you're watching this video, subscribe. He seemed like he genuinely cared about what he was creating and just did it for the passion of the game and it wasn't really revolved around money. He didn't care about the money. He just wanted people to get better at Siege, wanted to talk about Siege, just liked hit one of his passions and made the videos not for money. It wasn't for greed. Meanwhile, another Siege creator known as Rogue9 started building his audience and they were both doing significantly well. Rogue9 then started growing his own audience and he probably got inspired by Get Flanked to even start creating because he was one of the main creators in the space at this time, which is crazy to think about because of what happens later. As these two content creators start to gain traction, they start a podcast named the Hot Breach Podcast where they talk about Siege and everything that revolves around Siege, just like the current state. And, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool they talk about Siege. It's on a podcast. Like, yeah, it's pretty basic. It's a, it's a basic podcast. Like, there's nothing special to it. They just talk about Siege. And her good friends, our amazing friends that probably love me after this video, Ubisoft asked them to come to Barcelona and to do a podcast. They're in Barcelona. And meanwhile, our dirty dog, R9, has been DMing a Ubisoft worker, and then he got friendzoned, which is unfortunate for him, because that made the whole situation even worse. Because the same worker is in charge of the whole entire workshop that they have been invited to. Hey man, shoot or shoot. But, uh, he missed. He fucking airballed. He got friendzoned. It happens. From the messages I showed earlier, the final private discussion I had about the personal contact that I'd had before the workshop ended with an agreement to let the past be the past and to work together professionally going forward. But then on Friday, before the podcast was even done, this person blocked or deleted me on every single social media app that we'd connected on. Now, there are two possible explanations for this. Either the message from Monday evening about keeping things strictly professional going forward was just one more lie and there'd been a plan all week long to wait until after the podcast to block me. Or the other alternative is something happened in the meantime that changed the situation. Something like get flanked going out to dinner with them the night before and dishing the dirt. So what actually happens when they do end up going? They get there, and it's completely unprofessional. Shocking from Ubisoft, I know. They use Tinder as an icebreaker. How does that even work? What the fuck? That's so weird. Can you imagine going to a place for work, and then they start you- they, they whip out Tinder. One of the girls whip out Tinder on their phone, and they start swiping away. Well, that's probably the weirdest situation ever. But the Ubisoft employees, they treat it like a vacation. Rogue gets treated like shit the whole entire time and wonders what he did that was so bad that gets him treated like shit. Turns out later, our good boy Get Flank was reporting everything that Rogue Nine said to him in private to the people at Ubisoft. So me and you are having a conversation in private. I give you my honest opinion about something and then you can go ahead and tell the other people I was talking shit about that I was talking shit about them. 
And there's even more. There is another story that never made any sense to me and which implies that my private comments were being passed on behind my back. But this story involved Pete rather than get flanked and so I've decided to cut it from this video. At this stage, Pete is not involved in the matter and I'm not going to be the one to drag him in. But I will mention that there's more I could say. The fact is that the idea of our private discussions being passed on behind my back would certainly help explain a lot of loose ends that I never managed to understand. You will remember from the last video that I politely inquired of Ubisoft what exactly I did during that week that would count as rude, condescending or dismissive behaviour and I never received an answer. One week after the event, on the Discord call where Get Flanked informed me that they were kicking me off the podcast, I asked both of the guys what exactly I did during any of the workshop sessions that supposedly crossed the line in terms of my behaviour towards Ubisoft staff and neither of them could come up with a single incident either. Nobody can give me a single real incident of anything specific I'm supposed to have done and even in his 18 minute video, the only story where Get Flanked alleges any unprofessional behaviour is the story about me being upset at the questionable behaviour during the Tinder incident and as I've explained, that story is so full of inaccuracies that I can only call it a lie. The funny thing is Get Flank was probably agreeing with Rogue Nine on the points that he made about how they should be getting paid to be there, they're wasting their own money to be there, Ubisoft was treating Rogue Nine like shit. The whole thing was a mess. A complete mess, a complete disaster, pretty much worst case scenario for everyone involved. Get Flanked then kicks him off the podcast even though he's done nothing wrong and made him seem like an idiot. So imagine completely embarrassing your friend, right? Just to get random people you don't even know to like you. That's the type of person that Get Flanked really is. Get Flanked then later makes a video titled The Real Reason the Hot Breach podcast ended. In the video, he completely makes up stories so that Ubisoft, the company for which he now works for, if you look in his Twitter bio, looks like they did nothing wrong and defended a billion dollar corporation over his own friend and co-worker. He also posts it on his second channel, which at the time was a Valorant channel and could have easily posted it on his main channel, but then decided the less people know about it, the better. Rogue Nine then responds with his own video explaining his side of the story and in it he completely exposes Get Flanked for lying to his audience and defaming his name. Quite literally goes through every single thing that happened to him to prove that he is innocent and did nothing wrong and got completely backstabbed by Get Snaked because that's exactly what Get Flanked is, a snake. He consistently goes against what he tries to preach in his videos, with the whole stop being toxic guys, it's not cool, just so he can be on Ubisoft's good side. I'm coming to you guys. For Jackal, plant. smoke and plant dude, it's empty. Jackal, Jackal, smoke and plant. Jackal doesn't have smoke. Yeah, this guy's a Let's play behind plant. the wardrobe. Drop the fucking diffuser. I'll rise, I'll rise. I've got you. Oh my God, I'm okay with people censoring themselves a little bit to be more brand friendly and get more sponsorships, but it seemed that that was all Get Flanked cared about, was not the content he was making, but how much money he was getting. Greed can ruin families, friendships, and it really shows what type of person that you are. Get Flank completely deserved his downfall, and Karma always wins in the end. Where is he now, you might ask? He tried to post Tarkov videos, but no one seemed to care. So now, just as I'm making this video about him, he deleted almost all of his videos on his main channel, and every single video on his second channel. Who knows what he's gonna put out next, and honestly, who cares? If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe, goodbye.